Well, hello there, folks, and happy Thursday to you. It's lovely to see you again, as usual. And as promised over on Instagram, here is the video recipe for the scotch broth that I posted over there the other day. And it's such a wonderful response, and I know so many of you are looking forward to making this one. It's so simple, but absolutely delicious. This is more commonly made with mutton, but I much prefer this with chicken. It keeps it a bit lighter, and because you're using the whole chicken for the stock, you just get a lovely flavour. So the first thing you want to do is get your chicken into the pan. We're going to do the stock first, obviously. I'm going to pop in an onion and also a few bay leaves as well. Now you'll want to season your water very well with a good dunt of salt and pepper. So that's probably about a teaspoon of each in there as well. I'm going to add in a chicken stock pot. If you don't have these, you can add a couple of chicken stock cubes or whatever bouillon you prefer. I just like these because they give the stock a lovely rich flavour. And I think, you know, doing your taking the time to make the stock is going to make a big, big difference to your end result because the broth itself, you know, it doesn't have much flavour. But by doing it this way, you're going to have, you know, bags of flavour in your soup. So you just want to fill your pan up with cool water, bring it up to the boil and let this simmer away for about 90 minutes or about an hour and a half. And then when you come back, your chicken will be absolutely falling off the bone and that water will be infused with all that lovely chicken flavour and your salt, your pepper, the onion, the bay leaves. It's just going to be wonderful. So lift your chicken out if you can. <laughs> Set that to the side and you just want to run your stock through a sieve just to catch any nasty bits that might be in there. And obviously the onion, the bay leaves and all that kind of thing. And then you can just discard these. You don't need these anymore. And then just sit your stock to the side. And look at that lovely greasy layer of fat on the top. But that's going to give you loads of flavour. The next thing you want to do is prepare your vegetables. All of these ingredients and the weights will be underneath the video in the description box. In case you want to come back later and write everything down. I'll save you watching the whole video again. So just peel and chop all of your veggies. And then we're also going to be using some pearl barley as well. So 200 grams of that and then a good handful of fresh chopped parsley. And you might need some extra stock cubes. You know, it will depend on your own preference at the end. So you want to get all the skin off of your chicken. Again, this is personal preference. I don't like chicken skin, so I'm taking the chicken off. And just remove the bones and just get, you know, as much chicken as you can off of your bones. If you're squeamish, you know, you might want to look away. But we're also going to be having some rolls on the side of the soup with some of that chicken as well. So I'm not going to put all of the chicken into the soup. Probably about 80% of the chicken will end up in the soup. And just discard any old bones and things that you're not going to need. So that's all of your different elements ready. So get back over to your pan. I'm using the same pan. I've just given it a quick rinse out. Some oil in the bottom, get that nice and hot and then pop your veggies in. You just want to pop some salt on top of that and that's going to draw the moisture out your veggies and help them sweat down a wee bit. Give them a good start and pop your lid on for about 10 minutes. You want to try and get these softened up a good bit and then just go in with your spoon and give it another good stir because I'm not using a non-stick pan so it may stick. So do come back and make sure it isn't sticking. Pop your barley in and give this another good stir. Now you don't have to soak this barley the night before or anything. It will be lovely and soft by the end of your cooking time. So give this about another five minutes just to warm through and for everything to soften up another good wee bit. And the way I like to test this, I give it another good stir. I press my potatoes against the wall of the pan. And if they're starting to get nice and soft, you know, you know you're ready to add your stock. So I'm just going to add enough stock in here just to cover the veggies. You don't need any more than that at this stock, you know, at this stage. Just make sure you don't splash it everywhere. <laughs> so once you're just about covering your veggies, you want to put this in a high boil or high simmer for about 15 minutes. And then you can come back and you should have something that looks like this. Like I said, I just like to push my potatoes against the wall of the pan, as you can see there. And if they're nice and soft, you know you're ready to move on, move on to the next step, which is just simply adding the rest of your stock. Use it all just to you know make sure you're not <laughs> coming over the side of your pan. But this was fine for me. And then obviously your parsley in there as well. Give it another 
quick wee stir and you want to put this on quite a low simmer for about 45 minutes and when you come back you're almost finished and you'll have something that looks like this and it's just let me tell you the flavour of this is wonderful because we've used the whole chicken obviously you're getting stock the flavour from the bones and the skin and it is just lovely highly recommend you give this one a go I always say that but I really do mean it with this one the last thing you want to do is pop in your chicken and because this is cooked you just want to warm this through again and it'll only take you a minute or so and that's you done and as you can see, you know, there's plenty in there. It's full of goodness. Brilliant if you're feeling under the weather or you've got a bit of a cold or something like that. And if you do like a thicker soup, I would recommend making this the day before. And, you know, it's going to go really thick overnight. So be warned, you know, if you do leave this overnight, you will be able to hang your wallpaper with it the next day. So this is just the way we like it. But I do put leftovers in the freezer in some freezer bags. And like I said, we just had some rolls on the side with some of that lovely chicken and mayonnaise and sweet corn. And and it was just a lovely combination. So thank you very much for watching if you're leaving at this point. And a huge thank you as usual to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page, to the channel members here on YouTube as well, and for you all for watching and leaving your lovely comments as well and for those that share the videos as well. And if you're not following me over on Facebook or Instagram, I will leave the links to both of these in the description box underneath the video along with all of the, you know, the recipe ingredients and their weights. And hopefully I will see you during the week for Meals of the Week on Sunday or are we shopping and bagging on Saturday or whenever you choose to join me again. But have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you soon back here on What's for Tea. Bye now.